In the last video, we talked about how to develop a slow spiccato. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to develop your faster spiccato. In slow spiccato, we talked about how the entire motion comes from the shoulder. The arm should move in this motion. In this spiccato, it's more what we talked about with the basketball motion. When you bounce a basketball, you're catching the bow every time it comes up. And you'll notice the motion that my elbow does when I mimic catching a basketball. This is essentially the same motion that we do when we do a faster spiccato. So, if I put the bow on the string, which it's best to start trying to spiccato fast with the bow on the string, and I do this motion with the arm, the circular motion that I just showed you, eventually the bow will want to come off the string. My hand is still keeping the bow into the string and it's still catching the bounce, but this circular motion with the elbow that I've created, where it goes back and forth, is helping me to get the bow to bounce. Another technique for trying to get the bow to bounce is moving the bow like this quicker and quicker until you get it off the string because the hand is actually going to move like this slightly, up and down, as opposed to side to side when you're using the whole arm. Let me show you that one more time. Now the motion with the French bow is essentially the same, but instead what you want to think of is zero gravity basketball. As if I was going to bounce a basketball against the wall. So if I was bouncing a basketball like this, normally it would look like that. Now what if I turned the ball and bounced it against the wall? This is essentially the motion that you want to do with the French bow to create spiccato at a quicker speed. And it should sound exactly like it does with a German bow. This is how you develop your faster spiccato.